Hi everyone, Sandy here. I am going to be working in, this is a Christmas journal that I made with my patrons over on my Patreon site. And I am going to do uh, decorate a couple pages in this journal. So let's get started. So this video, I am going to use a few of the digitals. I went ahead and printed them out and I thought we would decorate a couple pages. So I plan on using this for my um, December journal. I won't necessarily write in it every single day, so I don't call it a December daily. Um, but one of the things I like to journal about is um, decorating the Christmas tree and all the ornaments that are on the tree. So I printed out a picture here of it at night with it all lit up and um, I wanted to kind of talk about the ornaments and things like that in my journaling. Um, so that'll be one layout that I'll do and that'll probably be <clears throat> the first layout. So I'll need to decide where I want to do that. I don't necessarily journal in order either. Um, the thing that I did add was I did add these corner protectors or page protectors on and then I added a piece of this lace um, this is just lace that I got from Tabor Lodgy, so it's not um, vintage or antique or anything like that. But I thought that went really nice with the white snowflakes on the fabric. And I want to put a few pockets in here. And I also want to do um, some other decorating and things like that. So one of the digitals that I printed out was, um, I also want to make a few tags and um, some clusters. So what I did on this particular one is um, this fabric, I selected that I wanted to have two copies of this printed out on the paper. And so that's why the pattern looks a bit smaller. So that's an important tip, you know, if you're printing out your digitals, you can select um, how many copies you want it and it automatically resizes it. Like here is this music sheet and I said I wanted six copies. So instead of it being a full page, it automatically shrunk it down. And I thought this would be fun to make some little tags with a couple of these. And then they might be good um, as a, a base for a cluster is kind of what I was thinking on this one. And then I thought for this one, I might even do a belly band for part of this because it's already kind of collaged on this digital and also it would make a cute pocket or a cute tag and this is just one print um, on the page so I think I'll start off with a pocket so let me trim this one down I haven't done my haul video yet but I did get this um, Tim Holtz trimmer and I did a haul video showing that and I don't know if that video will be up when this video is posted or not um, but if not the spoiler is I love this trimmer it's amazing so I'm trimming the white edges off And then I want to measure, so I think I'll have the, the stripes go this way for the pocket. And I'm thinking I'm gonna add it onto this red page. I've been trying to get better about putting my pencil back in my pencil holder, but um, it's hit or miss. And I think I just want the pocket, I might go up to this, uh, red line there one of the things I love about this trimmer is you don't have to lift this flap up it's wonderful And I know this is probably not on the screen, but just trimming these. And that could be the base of a cluster or maybe a tiny 
um, a tiny little tuck. And I want to cut a little notch out of the top of this. About a week or so ago, I was cutting vellum with this and it got so jammed and stuck. I had to have my husband help me. I couldn't get it unstuck. I think he ended up like beating it out. <laughs> I really like how this journal is coming together. Oh, I do want to ink around the edges really fast. So I hope you're doing well. Do you have your Christmas tree decorated? I finally got mine decorated last night. And we're actually, we have it in a new spot in the living room because we got some new furniture earlier this year. And I didn't, I like the way the furniture is arranged and um, so I didn't really, really want to move it around. So this year um, we have it over in the corner by, we have a little uh, window seat by the fireplace and I am really enjoying that location. And you can sew around your pockets before you put it in. Um, I probably should have done that, but maybe I'll do that on the next one. That looks so cute there. I love turning this fabric into a paper. Um, and then on this thing, I had talked to you guys about um, wanting to glue this down, but I want to try to cover this up. And I'm wondering what I could possibly use. Oh, that could look cute right there. Yeah, I might do that. So I'll probably want to use my Fabri-Tac glue for that. And so I'm just going to glue right here and right here. And I think that'll work as a, as a little tuck right there. So let's glue this down first. I don't think it would, yeah, I should just trim it, I feel. Yep. I'll cut it. And then I'll cut another piece going this way. Goodness. Bunch of tinsel. And then we'll put that there. There's still some decorating I need to do around the house. And then my husband got the outside Christmas lights up on Saturday. And that still should be able to, yeah. That'll make it a little bulky right here, but I'm not too worried about it. Got the outside lights up on Saturday. And one of the strings, the light. The lights came on, but then shortly afterwards they went out. So to troubleshoot that, I'm guessing a light bulb probably just burned out. That looks cute. Okay. Yeah, I got these trims at Joanne's cute. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and here. Goodness, this trim gets a little messy when you trim it. <laughs> Get it? Trim the trim. <laughs> there. And now we'll have 
fun little tuck. I'll put a tag in there or something. And oh, the other thing I want to do is glue this down. And I want to make a pocket here. So then we'll have a little pocket on the side as well to see if one of these will fit. Oh yeah, perfect. So we'll make a tag to put in there. That's really cute. I like that. Okay, so we got a pocket, we got a tuck and another pocket. And got a little glue. I don't want that to stick. Um, the other thing I thought I would work on tonight, I don't know if you've seen me, I'm doing little short videos, um, opening up the items I got from my Secret Santa gift exchange that I did, and this stencil, I think it's so pretty, and, um, I thought I'd put some of this music on here, yeah, I might do that, and I want to find... I don't want an all-out red. I feel like that might be too much. Oh, maybe a green. Maybe I'll try green. I'm gonna do bundled sage. See how I like it. Let's do a quick little test here. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Yeah, I do not have a music stencil. I have some music stamps. So this was a really fun surprise to open. I feel very uh, blessed, I guess. Um, my partner, she's done giving me some, so far, four fabulous little gifts and I sure hope she likes what I sent her I wanted to go a little light but I probably have got too heavy oops I still want to be able to write on here, but I think it'll be okay. Oh yeah, that's still pretty light. Look how sweet that looks. I like that behind that ledger paper too. Nice. Okay, we did some stenciling and made a couple pockets and tucks. So I thought I would do a tag here. I'm just going to turn this down. And if you have some ideas or suggestions, definitely leave it in the comments below. Because I'll be coming back on and doing some more in this journal throughout December. Have y'all watched any um, Christmas movies yet? watched a whole lot. I've been busy watching the all of the craft off videos from the Rach and Bella Christmas Craft Off 23. I have just a couple more to watch and then I think I'll be good. But um, then I'll get I've watched Elf because I love Elf. 
and um, I've caught some of It's a Wonderful Life. I have a little coffee dyed paper. I think I'll uh, put that on the back so I can have some journaling and make it a little bit sturdy, more sturdy, sturdier. straight-ish. <laughs> you can also tear around these if you don't want um, a clean edge. And I would probably sew around this. But I'll do that off camera. Put a hole in here. And yeah, we can fit this little tag right in here. Right like that. Look how cute that looks. We add a little twine to that. And then I'll sew around the edges off camera. Trim it up a little bit better. And I don't think I want to add any lace. So with our digitals, we have made a tag and we've made a pocket. And I think one more thing we could make is, um, so one of the other digitals I printed out, oh, and we stenciled on one of the pages. And then I printed these out as well. So you could trim these up and then, um, Glue it on the page so it looks like a bag. But I'll fussy cut that off camera. But then you can add that to a page and just glue it down around the three edges. And then you have a nice, um, you can either have it be a side tuck like this or top pocket. Or you could even just glue the bottom and have it be a tuck on the side. But that's an easy way to add a, um, a pocket to your pages. One thing I want to do is this page spread for my um, Christmas tree. And I think, yeah, I think I'm going to put it here. And I grabbed these um, page protectors. I really like using these page protectors. You can get them on Amazon. You can also, um, you can find them at Target at the beginning of um, the school year, if you're lucky. And then I just slid a, a gold doily down in there. So I thought when you, if you pull the photo out, you can see the doily. And then I want to add like a little sticker. I pick these up at Hobby Lobby. And it might be fun to add a little a little sticker. Put a little sticker right here. Cute. 
cute. And then maybe a couple ornaments on the page. Try to see whatever you have in your stash. And then I thought I had, instead of making this a pocket, I'm going to try to make this a tip out. And then I can do my journaling about my tree over here. So I am going to try. It's been a hot minute since I did a, a little flip here. And do I want it to go this way or this way? I think I want it to go this way. Well, I hope this gives you all some ideas on ways to capture different events going on in the month of December. so we don't forget about them. And then put that over. Nice. And then I am gonna put just a little bit of glue Keep it secure. Perfect. There we go. All right, I like that. And then I'll do my journaling in here and I'll do that off camera. All right, first journal page for December 2023 in the books. <laughs> and then I folded this paper over instead of trimming it so that I could have a side tuck. We have a nice little side tuck. All right, so I think I will stop um, the video here, but we'll come back and we'll continue working in this journal. So today we did our pocket here. We made this little side tuck right here. And then we did some stenciling. Find our stencil page. Right here, did some stenciling. So you could use whatever stencil you have. We glued this side pocket down and then we um, made a tag here with another one of our digitals and have some writing on the back. We added this trim. All right, thank you all so much for joining me. Remember to leave a comment down below, hit the like button, share this video. And yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.